Being an NFL owner seems easy. You're a billionaire who gets to sit in a luxury suite, have people serve you nonstop food and drinks, and did we mention it's just totally cool to control a professional sports team? But nobody is perfect, and these billionaire NFL owners are no exception. Some owners have made so many mistakes or just have huge egos. It's easy for them to draw hatred. I'm Justin for Action, and today we take a look at the NFL's 10 most hated owners. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Jimmy Haslam, Cleveland Browns Haslam became the Cleveland Browns owner in 2012. Everyone basically knows the Browns are the worst team in North American sports, and even though it's not Haslam's fault they've sucked for 20 years, we can only assume Browns fans don't like him. Since he took over, the Browns have gone through four head coaches and 10 starting quarterbacks. That means he can't get his general managers to draft well, and he's not doing his job in hiring the right scouts and head coaches. Don't you think it's easy for Browns fans to wish they had another owner? Number 9. Stephen Ross, Miami Dolphins After the Miami Dolphins reached the playoffs in 2008 and went one and done, Ross basically sat in his luxury suite and did nothing. He let longtime general manager Jeff Ireland and head coach Tony Sperano run the team into the ground with awful drafting and horrible free agent signings while recycling through quarterback after quarterback. Ireland was GM from 2008 to 14, with Miami racking up just one winning season in his tenure. Sperano went 29-32 and 32 in just under four years with Miami. That was too long. Ross obviously pissed off his own fans as the Dolphins struggled to sell out home games. That was probably their way of sticking it to their owner. Number 8. Dean Spanos, Los Angeles Chargers Spanos owned a Chargers team that was among the NFL's most dominant from 2006 to 2010, and yet he let head coach North Turner do nothing with this team despite having stars like Philip Rivers, Landanian Tomlinson, and Antonio Gates. After Turner coached the Chargers to the 2007 AFC Championship game, Spanos let Turner coach them for five more seasons, winning just one playoff game. And that's not even the worst part. After 56 years in the city of San Diego, Spanos decided to pick the team up and ship them off to Los Angeles, leaving behind the loyal fans who stuck with the team for over half a century. Nobody can be happy about Spanos' decision to bring a second team to LA in two years. We hate him for it. Number 7. Mark Davis, Oakland Raiders We'll keep it short and sweet. Number 1. A lot of people hate the Raiders' easy hatred. Number 2. He's trying to move the team to Las Vegas, so much for loving the Oakland fans and Number three, is he trying to be Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber with that haircut? Number six, Jed York, San Francisco 49ers. CBS noted that Jed York is the most hated figure among San Francisco 49ers fans. Do we need to explain much? The 49ers went from a Super Bowl contender to the NFC's most laughed at organization. That's on York for not keeping Jim Harbaugh as head coach and allowing so many star players to walk. He also fired much of the Candlestick Park staff and hired new workers at Levi Stadium. Many 49ers fans also believe the new stadium was just for the money. You 49ers haters probably hate him too, given his rather snobbish and arrogant attitude. Number 5. Steve Bishotti, Baltimore Ravens Previous Ravens owner Art Modell owned the Cleveland Browns but relocated his team to Baltimore in 1996 to become the Ravens. Cleveland didn't get its NFL team back until 1999. That basically set them on a path as the NFL's worst team for nearly two decades. So what does Bishotti have to do with this? He bought the team from Modell and became minority owner in 1999 and is now the majority owner. The Ravens and Browns are also in the same division. Real easy to hate him if you're a Browns fan. Number 4. Jim Ursay, Indianapolis Colts Not a great look for an NFL franchise when their owner was arrested for DUI while fighting drug addictions that led to a six-game suspension. But besides that incident, Jim Ursay isn't exactly a great owner. The 2011 Colts season went to show just how much Ursay failed to have his front office build a team around Peyton Manning, who turned the longtime loser Colts into a perennial powerhouse. And then when Peyton joined the Denver Broncos, Ursay said he had no regrets releasing Manning and criticized the franchise icon for only winning one Super Bowl. Yeah, like that was Manning's fault. Didn't the Colts win two games in 2011 when Manning missed the whole season? Also, Ursay took long enough to fire GM Ryan Grigson, and it seems like he's never going to get rid of head coach Chuck Pagano. Number 3. Robert Kraft, New England Patriots Though the Patriots may be the NFL's most hated team, Kraft was once well-respected by the general NFL fan base, especially after his hard work ended the 2011 lockout. But during and after the Deflate Gate scandal, Kraft's ego showed. With Tom Brady suspended, Kraft said he was wrong to put faith in the NFL, even though legend has it that Goodell covered up the Spygate scandal to protect the Patriots' image and the league's integrity. Kraft also met Archie Manning during the weekend of Super Bowl 50 and flaunted off Tom Brady's four Super Bowl rings, which were more than the three owned by Archie's sons at the time. I guess it just takes one scandal for a man to show how arrogant he is. Number 2. Dan Snyder, Washington Redskins Many polls conducted have named Snyder the NFL's most hated owner. It's not hard to see why. 
so we can go through his terrible handling of the Mike Shanahan and Robert Griffin relationship, we only have to bring up the fact that he selfishly refuses to consider changing the Redskins team name, even though millions of Native Americans and Barack Obama find it racist and insulting. And number one, of course, Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys. Jones is such a big ego that he couldn't coexist with legendary Cowboys head coach Jimmy Johnson, who guided the franchise to a pair of Super Bowls. Jones chose to move on from Johnson because he didn't want to give the man more power in the organization. Then there are those inappropriate photos of Jones posing with a couple of much younger women. And did we mention he moved on from legendary Cowboys head coach Tom Landry too? He also lets himself run the Cowboys even though his drafting is usually bad, and he probably could have moved on from Tony Romo five years ago. But being the owner of the Cowboys makes you despised by many, no matter how nice of a person you could be, and Jerry seems to be anything but. Which NFL owner do you hate most and why? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.